Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Welcome back if you're not new here. And if you are new here, please feel free to subscribe. I post a lot of thrifting, fashion, fun, lifestyle content as a 20 something year old living at home. Tune into that on my first day off diaries where I introduce myself. Today's video is just gonna be a cute, simple, talk with you, chatty, thrift haul. Coming to you fresh face, supple, here on this wonderful Mondays when I'm filming this. I have been doing a little bit of thrifting, one would say. So excited to talk with you guys through all of my thrift finds that I picked up recently, so let's get into the haul. How adorable is this polka dot little number here with the little bow? How cute! It is a little bit ripped here, so I knew that before I thrifted it. All I have to do is give it a little fix, and she is good as new. This is really how I've been feeling lately fashion-wise, like super cutesy mod but like also 2010s at the same time but essentially twee aesthetic is just super referential of 60s fashion so i'm a 60s girl at heart so this just fits right in once i fix the zipper in the back she's perfect Friends, what was I thinking? Um, safe to say this is a for fail. It looked appealing on the hanger, and I was thinking again, this could give like cutesy 2010s, like with a knee high sock, like a beret. Uh uh. Mm -mm. This is a nar. This is a hard nar. Sorry, yeah. We're gonna pretend like we didn't see that together. And we're gonna move on god bless now some of you may be coming from my last video and looking at this dress and being like girl explain yourself but I'm going to give me time so I thrifted this dress in the midst of me doing all those thrifted alteration DIY whatever you want to call it and then, you know, I thought it was gonna fit me better than it does. Obviously, it's a little bit big here. Obviously, I thrift flipped that last black dress into something that was perfection. So I am not going to be leaving this dress as is. I'm going to be upcycling this again. This one, I think I'm gonna cater more towards TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, go ahead and do that so you won't miss out on me turning this into something contascular. This is the find of the haul. I was so glad I ended up getting this. I was contemplating this back and forth so hard at the thrift store. I was like, is it too big? Like, is it not gonna give what I want it to give? Oh honey, it gives. At least to me. You may not think so, but my wardrobe, my purchase, not yours, okay? As you can see, I've already started to adorn it, you know, make it a little bit cuter. I have some like Sandy Lee inspired bows and some buttons for my literal large collection of brooches. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Um, I'm contemplating cropping it and having like a raw hem because I have this very specific length that I like for my pants to have. And I love a rolled up look, but something about cropping it or cutting it, I guess, to have a raw hem at the edge is giving for me. Also contemplating painting like something on the kneecaps, maybe a heart or maybe like the happy sad logo from Lazy Oaf. Another thing that I will go ahead and get out of the way right now, I fucking love Lazy Oaf. One of these days, I will be able to purchase like a few clothing pieces that I've had my eye on. Lazy Oaf is my favorite brand. I really would love to work for them if, you know, I have applied. They didn't get back to me, so, you know. Hey, I did a project for them when I was in college, and it's one of my favorite projects that I've ever done. If you ever want to see any of my fashion-y, artsy type stuff, I have my portfolio on my art page if you will slash business page when that gets opened up everything is linked through my link tree but yeah I absolutely love this jumpsuit I'll give you guys a 360 she's gorge also could maybe put something on the back pocket like I have a collection of iron-ons this will not be staying the same there's gonna be so much shit that I'm gonna just plaster on this to make this super maximalist and fun so stay tuned for that absolutely love it again follow me on my Instagram so you can see how I style. Simple pair of pinstripe pants. 
I love these particularly because you can really tell that they're pinstripe, at least I hope you can on camera. Um, a lot of times pinstripes are super like faint and it's like up close. You can tell that they're pinstripe, but this pinstripe is like super bold. Always a men's trouser. I will never, I won't say never. I won't say never. Nine times out of ten, I will always opt for a men's trouser. I just love the way they fit and the way this hits my waist. I have a knack for finding the perfect fit of a men's trouser on me. Contemplating cropping these or not, because like I said, I have this very signature crop that I love to do with my trousers. But these, I kind of, I'm kind of loving this fit. Loving the fit and the length, especially like when I'm in a platform, she'll still be cute. So, starting off with the trousers perfect then this super 90s sparkly sweater top just a basic i've been trying to get more into colored basics another 10 out of 10 find for me i was looking for a blue oversized button up again only from the men's section and then this one has don't read me don't read me i believe this is japanese again do not read me i don't know please inform me if i'm incorrect so we're gonna just say no it's even worse I'm going to stick with Japanese. Again, please, I apologize if I'm wrong. This uh, Japanese writing all over it, and then there's some on the back as well. And then it has the contrast stitching that's super cute everywhere. Yeah, this just eats down. I've been getting into Japanese street style a little bit lately, so this was just perfect to fulfill that itch. Again, not much to say about it. I absolutely love the writing. I love the blue color. It's just a elevated basic which as a maximalist I treasure. My style is a little bit all over the place lately. Somehow in some way the minimalist girls have been really getting to me and it's starting to become appealing. So you know style is ever changing, style is ever evolving so we will see where my style goes. I went ahead and thrifted this gray cardigan to wear as a top. I think it is super super adorable. Um, these are pretty easy to thrift but if you're not in the thrifting mood I did do like an silent-ish review over on my TikTok and my Instagram reels reviewing some tops that I picked up from H&M and I picked up a few of these cardigan style tops. So if you're not in the mood to thrift one H&M has you covered. They're super, super cute and fit really, really similar to this. But I was happy to thrift this. I have this love for like this dark gray. Like this dark gray and like corporate gray eats me up every single time. And I think it's less so minimalism that I'm getting into, but more so corporate core because I always have this love for preppy, smart type wear. And like I said, something about slate business gray is so everything to me so again we will see how my style evolves i absolutely love both of these pieces together as well it'd be interesting to see how i would just this up and make it feel more me this is this top Oof! just look at it this is perfect this is everything Oof! i love the puff sleeves the asymmetry with the ruffle right here perfect perfect this is if I had a top three so far at least because a lot of the stuff I have not even tried on yet so so far top three of this haul the full denim jumpsuit the blue Japanese writing button up and then this top right here this is so stunning so stunning it has little buttons here on the sleeve that I cannot get by myself so you know whatever I don't really care everything else is stunning this feels very Japanese street style to me again. It feels like one of those elevated nice. basics that you would pair with like a slack, something cute and colorful. This top is everything. I absolutely love it. I could sit here and say that to you all day. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to have you guys look at the top because as I said, it's perfect. Yeah, she's a pant girl now. I've been trying to get more into pants this year as I evolve my style through the 75 hard style challenge even though I'm breaking the rules again by thrifting. That's coming to an end as well because as a Catholic woman I am participating in Lent. It is the Lent season right now which is the season of fasting before Easter and for Lent my fast is to not shop, you know, 
pleasurable expenses so like no eating out no shopping no thrifting none of it and also as a part of that I'm gonna be doing a closet clean out to get rid of stuff that I have because I feel like I've become very gluttonous when it comes to the things that I take in from the thrift store and don't wear this rack being a prime example you know being that I haven't worn majority of the things that are on this rack so <clears throat> Catholic spiel over pants getting into pants this year these ones are absolutely perfect I have trouble finding low-rise things that I feel look good on me I love it on everybody else I just don't feel like I have the body type for it also I'm trying to lose weight I'm not the happiest with my body right now and low-rise I feel like broadcast a lot of those insecurities so when I find something that I feel like I can participate in and give the look that I see other people fulfilling I'm happy so found these pants unfortunately they are a little bit long and I don't want to crop them because I love the cuff the cuff is so adorable and then the back has this super cute adjustable detail obviously it's as tight as it can go because these pants are a little bit oversized but that is okay I absolutely love the back these pants eat so hard I just have to fix the length problem so again you will see these being styled eventually on my Instagram and TikTok then of course at least as of right now this is the year of cheetah print leopard print as a person with a fashion design degree I cannot tell the difference personally so don't be shy if you can't either they're interchangeable to me so cheetah print love the cheetah print top it's this nice velour velvet material super shiny super 90s and I love that it actually is vintage and not fast fashion this is such a cute outfit actually I got this cheetah hat off of Depop some time ago yeah this is a fit with like I don't know a pop of color on the shoe or something like a kitten heel this is this is what I'm getting into right now it's like really daunting that my maximalism is like taking a back seat right now but uh it is what it is style again is ever evolving ever revolutionizing so let's get into whatever fashion has to offer me the more we get into this haul the more that it's eating so hard look at this blazer Ooh, pop the button on it oh, that's okay girl get this blazer I was afraid cuz in the when I tried it on in the thrift store I had like clothes on underneath it and it was a little bit small but I was like you know what fuck that I'm bringing this home even if it doesn't fit it's gonna fit so there's that um so I'm obviously right now I'm trying it on with nothing underneath so that's just how I had to wear it with as a top but I think that's how it's supposed to be worn you probably cannot tell on camera but it's got these really pretty dainty polka dots this feels so Karl Lagerfeld Chanel like this is so cute it could be very Chanel very Dior I absolutely love her like girl it's giving lady in all the best ways possible my hair looks a hot mess <laughs> It's gonna get progressively worse the more I try and close, so I'm just gonna stop messing with it. Everyone look at the blazer, not my hair. This top was risky business. I did not try this on in the thrift store. I just saw it, picked it up, put it in my cart, and then checked out. So this is my first time trying it on. I think it's very cute. I recently thrifted my sister um, this super amazing. <laughs> this amazing black top that's very similar to this it had like a little corset detail on either side high neck like this you know super jealous that I fitted that for her but I'm so happy that I was able to give that to her this is a very close second super cute I love the it feels very Victorian which I love right now look at me in all this black never in a million years would I think I'd be thrifting all this black again Ooh, girl what's happening to me anyways this top is super cute as I was saying, it's got a tie in the back so that, you know, you can snatch the waist in a little bit and give this super cute, like, you know, half open vibe. I think she's cute. And it came new with tags. Like, these are the original tags. It was originally $68, and now it's $34. But I got it for the first store price of $624. Can't beat that bargain. I really want the neckline to lay like this, but... All it takes is a good iron and I think it'll be exactly what I need it to be. This try-on fit is a little cray, but alas, 
we're just vibing the actual items, not the outfit. Picked up these red cheetah print, leopard print pants. They felt very cutesy, relaxed, also comfy, scary spice at the same time. Um, trying to get into more like comfy things that are still like super cute so that when I don't feel like getting dressed to the nines, I can still feel my sense of personal style through my outfit. Then this vintage 90s sweater tank top with the cheetah print trim. She is really into her cheetah print era right now. So sorry if you get sick of it, but um, that's just where I am right now. Yeah, not much to say about either piece. Simple, cute, thrifted. Changed back into the pinstripe pants because I feel like it would look good with the rest of the items I'm going to show you. The rest of the items are blazer type pieces. First up is this red plaid one. Very, um, what is it? Heathers. Very 90s, very clueless schoolgirl. Absolutely love. I've been getting, because obviously I have a large collection of oversized blazers, so now I want to get into like tighter fit blazer tops, like the polka dot one from earlier. So this is another great addition to the collection. And of course, again, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I love plaid. I have to say it out loud. I'm sorry. Not really. But if it's plaid, I'm down bad. <laughs> Crickets, bitch. Crickets. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Again, getting into a more tight-fitted blazer that you can wear closed. Unfortunately, this one is a little bit small. You can see the buttons puckering a little. But even without it being closed, I think it's still cute. Yeah, it's still cute even when it's not closed. So, another fun blazer, brown stripes. Been loving a stripe lately. Been loving some of my darker colors. Another cute blazer to add to the collection. Now, this blazer is perfectly on trend. I feel like I've seen more of the smaller fashion trend forecast was talking about this, like people like Kristen Bateman and Mandy Lee. Sailor core, like this is giving a nautical fantasy. Again, I've been missing the jackpot lately with trying to find stuff that's like really navy. This is technically navy, but it's totally gonna come across to a lot of people as black but I really got it for the sailor details so really I think it's just the stripes on the sleeves so she is super cute I have a sailor hat or two like with the slick down hair moment and something completely unconventionally not sailor nautical underneath eats I won't be taking criticism I love this blazer all right, to round out the haul, I'm gonna sit down and share with you guys the accessories and miscellaneous items that I picked up. Really only one miscellaneous item. I got this vintage looking, like I don't even know what you call this. Like it's got things to hang it from the back. It's just this like French kind of thing, slowly procuring things to put in my home when my fiance and I move somewhere. So pick this up really not much to say about it I'm not even gonna attempt to read what that says in French so got this cute little picture hopefully the sticker comes off without leaving any residue you know me and my ties picked up two new ones this green plaid gave me very Vivian Westwood vibes and this vibrant hot pink I feel like would fit perfectly into my super colorful crazy wardrobe to contrast me calling my wardrobe super fun and crazy and colorful, I picked up these nude tan kitten heels. I have always been a whore for a pointed toe kitten heel. These are super cute and I feel like they could contrast well with my super crazy colors that I wear from day to day. It has these little like laces, I think maybe because this came with a string so then maybe lacing this with some super fun ribbon would be super cool. So thrifted these guys then last thing I got this denim purse it gives Louis Vuitton but obviously you can tell that it's like fake you know want to be Louis Vuitton but I like that even more <laughs> it's super cute again very Japanese street style slash Y2K it's a really good size I mean just look at her she's gorgeous I love it love it and denim is such a cool fun texture to add to any of your outfits yeah very much love her 
all right and that is all i have for you guys in this thrift haul thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please feel free to give me a thumbs up comment down below what your favorite item was uh and stay tuned for whatever comes next for me i cannot put a finger on it right now what i have planned honestly what i could do right now maybe like talking about the fashion week because it is fashion month at the moment so there's so much new fashion amazingness coming at us right now so i could do like a sit down video talking about fashion week or I have like a Pinterest tour sort of situation idea that I want to film just kind of like going through my Pinterest and show you guys what I pin, how I pin, how I organize my inspirations. So let me know which one of those sound more appealing to you. Sorry. My dog just busted in my door like he owns the place. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching again. Actually, scratch all of that, that what I just said. I'm going to try and do another closet cleanup video. Fingers crossed that my files and video footage won't just miraculously delete itself off my computer like it did last time. Because like I said, for Lent, I'm trying to get better with getting rid of the, all the stuff that I'm hoarding because it actually is like hoarder level crazy, the amount of new things that I've thrifted and haven't worn. Chew. Go. So yes, potentially another day off diary closet clean out type video because I need to get rid of all of this excess shit that I've been holding on to that's honestly getting a little bit overwhelming to look at at this point. So again, these outros, I just can't stop fucking talking like girl, shut up. <coughs> Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. When I talk